hello everyone. We are live right now at Rockefeller Center here in what is about to be one of the biggest Christmas celebrations in the country, which of course is the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree lighting. There it is. Check out that tree. Welcome everyone to the countdown to Christmas in Rockefeller Center. I'm Kay Ingram. And I'm Matt Brickman. You can feel it. People are getting excited. We are hours away from what we have been waiting weeks to see. That big, beautiful tree behind us getting all lit up. Now, it's it's taken a little while to get here, about 20 days from being chopped down in Vestal, New York, and driven on a flatbed truck all the way to Midtown Manhattan. Manhattan That's right. and awaiting that moment where it'll be lit up with lights later this evening. It's gonna get lit. It's gonna get lit. <laughs> and crowds have been building here as well since uh, pretty early this morning, Kay. Yes, they have. They've been waiting for hours. I mean, I was out earlier and people have been lining up for some time now just to be able to get this close where we are, where you are watching to be here for the Christmas tree lighting, which will be happening in just a few hours. Yeah, security is tight. There are checkpoints set up all around the 30 Rock tree, so keep that in mind. If you're coming over, also know that there are entry points at 5th and 6th Avenue, and there's a couple of street closures too. 50th Street and 49th Street in between 5th and 6th are closed. So if you're trying to get down here, th those are your entry points at 51st Street and at 48th Street on 6th Ave and on 5th Ave as well. And please don't try to drive down. It is nope. going to be a madhouse. <laughs> the subway is going to be your friend this yes. evening. Yes, and make sure you know you are safe but most importantly excited because this is here this is it this it's is the moment the we've been waiting for and we want to <laughs> check in on some of that excitement yes. we've got news for us checky beckford live in the crowd with some folks who are, who are ready for a, a big night ahead hey checky that they are mad. They're actually streaming in as we speak. People coming into this area, this barricaded off area here around 50th, uh, excuse me, 51st and the plaza. Uh, they've been coming in for about two hours now and they're still making their way inside. How excited are you guys to see? I'm the tree? so excited. <laughs> All right, you can hear they're excited. <laughs> We've talked to a lot of people this evening, many of them uh, not even from the area. Only one person we spoke to was from New York. Everybody else was from D.C., uh, Chicago, England. And, of course, they're all bundled up because it is freezing out here. So we're being told they're wearing lots and lots of layers. Uh, but they say it all lends to the mood, uh, the holiday mood that's being set here tonight, uh, making them feel like this is Christmas. This is the kick, the kickoff of the holiday season. Uh, and, and, and they're loving. It. They say they can't wait to see that tree lit up with the 50,000 LED lights tonight. Uh, this 80 foot Norway spruce uh, that they've been waiting all this season for to start the holiday season, guys. lining in. Checky, thank you so much for that bit of a preview there, right? We told you about the folks who are lined up and you got to see there it. There they are. There they are. <laughs> okay, you know, we, we are all bundled up because yes. it is a late November evening. So we need to talk about the weather, and there's probably no one better here tonight to do just that than the queen. The queen. Of NBC New York. That is Miss Janice Huff. Janice, come on in Welcome here. Welcome to everybody. the show. Oh, wow, great. You guys look great. Thank well, you. You do, too. Uh, we are bundled up, too, which we, I'm glad We to are see. bundled up. You know, I said we were going to talk about the weather, but you, you said it right off the top. There's something more important we need to discuss tonight, and that's yes. fashion, yep. Janice. Yep. Um, Today's cold. I mean, really. I'm, I mean, both I mean, of you look incredible. Well, when you've got the tree behind us, you've got to bring it. You this know what true. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You absolutely have to. And that us. you do. And, Janice, you've been covering this event for years now. This yeah. is the main event. Tell us, what is it like covering well, this you know, Year this year. is my 28th year wow. um, witnessing the lighting of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree in person. Yeah. Um, I've been like actually covering it on the ice for about 25 or 26 years. But you know what, guys? It never gets old. I mean that when I say that. I mean, the weather might be a little annoying from time to time. Like right now, my feet are a little chilly. <laughs> but, uh, but other than that, it just it never gets old. Uh, just look at those photos. You got some photos oh my from past look. years. And look, and look at the fashion the, here as well. You bring it so every Janice, year. So, Janice, when you were deciding what to wear for an event like yes, this, yes. are you going fashion or function first? 
Let's see. Um, I think function first. Okay. We must make sure that our feet are warm, that our hands are warm. So mittens are at the best, even though I'm wearing gloves tonight. <laughs> I mean, mittens are best. Do um, as I say, not as I not do. Not as I do. <laughs> fur lined boots, which my, my, well, like faux fur, of course, but my boots are lined. You so can't that see them, but they're great. They can't, and so my feet aren't cold. Um, and layer up underneath your coat. I mean, you can look as fashionable as you want, as yes. cute as you want to look, but make sure you've got the layers that'll keep you warm underneath. Uh, well, I know you're going to talk to us a little bit about the weather tonight. Yeah. But before you do that, what is your favorite part? If you had to name one part that's your favorite of the tree lighting, what is well, it? The, well, the moment, the countdown, as they count down and then they light the tree. And, and they do the countdown, you know, the 10, 9, 8, and yeah. then it doesn't light right at 1. You know, it's sort of like it's like a half beat or a half beat off, and then all of a sudden the lights come on, and it's really magical. Uh, it truly really is. Just hoping that the tree lights up. Actually, well, like, tonight on the broadcast, we were doing the other broadcast. Yeah and they were rehearsing the countdown, <gasps> and we were standing over there, and then all of a sudden I heard them going 10, 9, 8, oh and we're gosh. on the air, and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, it's not time, it's not time. We're I just love rehearsing. that. They did not like the tree, they were just okay. rehearsing. Well, it is going to happen, and I don't know if you all can see, but our scarves are kind of moving, yes. but let's get to that weather. It's a little breeze, right? It's a little breezy, and um, yeah, you can see the flags going there, so there's definitely a chill in the air, um, even though, as Matt knows, it's not going to um, get much colder, but it is cold, so the temperatures are in the 30s, but with the wind, it feels like the 20s. So you dress for the wind chill, everybody. Dress for the cold. <sighs> Janice, thank you so much. And I had a no pleasure. idea what the weather was, so I, know, right? I learned a lot. <laughs> you me, right? I learned a lot. <laughs> I Happy know, tree lighting, everybody. Oh, thank my gosh. God. And we are Great here, job. and thank you for joining us, Janice. Sure. Now, we gave you some weather facts, but now we want to hit you with a couple of tree facts about this year's Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. I got a chance to break that down for you, give you some 411. So check it out. As we were looking back, we realized that most of their uh, first day of school pictures, the tree is in the background. Um, our dogs have run around and caused mayhem around that tree, so a lot of memories. We try to bring joy to the folks in our inner circle, so to do it on a massive scale, awesome. Now, some people might not know that every year it is a new tree, but this year's tree is an 80-year-old Norway spruce from Vestal, New York. So, here are some hashtag tree facts you definitely won't forget. This year's Rockefeller Center Christmas tree is 80 feet tall. That's almost the size of one tennis court, or a quarter of the Statue of Liberty, or 480 plane bagels stacked up one by one. Now, the weight of the tree is approximately 12 tons. That's almost equivalent to four white male rhinos and slightly heavier than the giant blue whale at the Museum of Natural History. Or the weight of one anchor commonly used on cruise ships. <laughs> it's 43 feet wide or the height of one Brachiosaurus. Once selected and cut down, it traveled 200 miles to get here for all to see. The tree's exciting, it's just fun. It brings the beginning of Christmas. The very first tree went up Christmas Eve 1931, when construction workers building Rockefeller Center put up a 20-foot tree of their own. It was decorated with paper garlands, strings of cranberries, and even a few ornaments too. But it wasn't until 1933 that the official tree ceremony began, and the rest, as they say, is history. This year's tree will be decked out in 50,000 lights, five miles of wire, and one nine-foot, 900-pound Swarovski star made of three million crystals. Wow, oh my gosh. You know, I can't get over the fact that this thing is 80 feet tall. It's huge. It's huge, right? The size of what, four white rhinos? It's insane. So those are some tree facts for you. Now you have until January 13th to see the tree. What I thought was really cool is they actually chop down the tree into lumber and then they use that to build homes through Habitat for Humanity. How cool is that? You could say your house was made of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. Exactly. What a flex. Exactly. Uh, all right, well, speaking of flexing, we're gonna do a little <laughs> bit of flexing of our own. We have a very exciting 
guest yes, to bring you next. That we do. We have special guest, country singer, songwriter, now Grammy winner, Carly Pierce is here with us. Carly, how's it going? Good. How are y'all? We are so good. Probably not as good as you, though. <laughs> First Rockefeller Center Christmas tree lighting. Yes. How do you feel? I'm so excited to be here. It's crazy. You look fabulous. Thank you. Well, first things first, we need to know who was the first person you called, Carly, when you found out you were going to be performing tonight here? My parents were the Aww. first people that I called, and one of my really good friends. It's his dream to be here, so he flew in for it. So oh, he's I very excited. What a real friend. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Wait, we should do like a hi to the parents. Hi, parents. <laughs> hi, mom and dad. Love you. Well, all right, so we did a little research and we found out that this is not the first time you have performed at a Christmas tree lighting. You did the CMA Country Christmas I did. down in Atlanta. What is it about Christmas that just draws you to it? You have to be a part of it. I mean, it's the most special time of the year, and I feel like it's a time for me that the year's kind of winding down with my crazy schedule, and you get to just really celebrate the year and everything that's happened and be with the people that you love the most. So you can feel it here. It's hap yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to be just in New York for it. Yes, you can feel it. You can. You're totally right. I mean, yeah. folks just like lined up, excited. Yeah. Love that you're excited to be here. Mm. Um, tell us, looking forward, we're celebrating the year now, but mm -hmm. looking ahead mm -hmm. into 2024, what are you most excited for? And if you could name one person you could work with, who would it be? I'm putting you on the spot. Oh, here. my goodness. Well, <laughs> I'm going on tour with Tim McGraw, so I'm very excited about that. His wow. standing room only tour. I have a new album coming out, which is going to be exciting. It's going to be a big year. Yes. I mean, honestly, my dream came true. My, my dream collaboration was Chris Stapleton. Yes. And we have a song out that's actually nominated for a Grammy, so maybe I'll win another one. I don't know. Yeah, but, let's yeah, keep it going. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Well, I just have to say, I mean, this is a bucket list item. You've done the Grand Ole Opry. You've done that. Well, you'll be doing Rockefeller Center. What's next at this point? I mean, is it Super Bowl halftime show? <laughs> is it is it performance on the moon? I mean, do you allow yourself to go, what's on my bucket list? I mean, a lot of my bucket list items have come true, but I think yeah. two that come to mind are performing on the Grammys and SNL. Okay. SNL, you know. They need some more country. We might be we able to find that. some folks tonight. <laughs> you need Lauren, some more make that happen. if you're watching, <laughs> we'll say hello. Me, me. We've got me. someone who wants to go on. Well, Carly, thank you so much. Happy thank holidays you. to you. You too. Now, up next, we do have Gus Rosendale, who is going to give us a live look at what's happening. We were talking about all that excitement. Well, now you all will get a chance to take a look. All right, guys, we're here along uh, Fifth Avenue where all the uh, people trying to get to see uh, see the tree are gathering right now. You can see the long line. At this point, you have two paths here. People going north and south along Fifth Avenue. The police doing a great job, but crowd control. A lot of people going up for the officers asking, how do I see the tree? Well, the key is you got to have a lot of patience, but there's some long lines here. How's everybody doing tonight? Good. Where, are you, where are you from? I'm India, from India. I'm from India. What brings you? I mean, are you here to see the tree? Excited yeah, about that? Why tree. come to see the tree? Why is it such a big deal? Just because it's a thing to do, right? Yeah. How's everybody back here? How, how's it going? How's the line? Yeah. Everybody staying warm? All the way from Seattle. Seattle. Why, yeah. co why come for the holidays? Why be here? Because I've never seen the tree lit, ever. <laughs> ever. Okay. It's my first time. What is it? First time, what's it like being in New York for this? Yeah, it feels like New York. Like I'm having the real New York experience with nowhere yeah. to move, you know? Oh, well, that's a very, very New York experience. How you doing? <laughs> How's everybody back here? Everybody staying warm? <laughs> How's yes. it going? We try. Yeah. You're trying to stay warm? Yes, why? Wow. How long have you been online for, would you say? You know? Oh, it's like uh, 30 minutes. Okay, 30, not too bad. Not so bad. Well, I hope you get a good view, all right? I hope so. You can see. I, I like what that lady from Seattle just said. A real new. Absolutely say hi. Hi from Ecuador. Say hi from Ecuador. Wave hi, hi everybody. From Ecuador, okay? I'm just visiting New York City. Did you bring a jacket just for of this? Course, yes. Okay. I will try to keep warm. All right. Well, you got the spirit. A lot of people okay, feel. Bye. A lot of people. Hey, hey, say hi to everybody back there in Ecuador. You can see the scene here. Everybody uh, try and do their best to stay warm. And certainly a lot of company along and helping in that effort. We're live here uh, just off the plaza along 5th. We'll send it back to you. Wow, Gus, thank you so much. You said everyone doing their best there. I think they are rock stars because in just a second, we're going to talk to another rock star here. That is the Al Roker. He is joining us. Oh, well, hi, guys. How are you? How are you? I'm feeling great. Just really excited to be here. It's a, Although after last year, I'm excited to be anywhere. Uh, so <laughs> it's, a, it's a good thing to be here. Well, yeah. let's, love this. let's talk about that. I mean, having yeah. to miss last year. What, is it, uh, what does it feel like to be back? Well, I'm very grateful. I was grateful to be back for the Thanksgiving Day Parade, thankful to be back for this. Uh, Hoda and I are going to be doing the Rose Parade. So it's like back 
to doing all of our holiday fun stuff. It, and, and this is about as fun as it gets. It doesn't feel like the holidays without having you here. Well, now, that's so awfully nice. But, glad uh, to have you. Well, back. you know, especially with Thanksgiving when you don't have a big turkey, there's, <laughs> it's really not the same thing. So, <laughs> Hanging right there. Oh, there my gosh. Is. So I, ha I have to say, you have been at the center of so many of these big events. You've yep. spoken to presidents, Olympics. Uh, you mentioned the parade. What is it about this night? What is it about the tree lighting that's different, that's special? Well, this, I, I know there's a tree down in Washington, but this is really the nation's tree. It's the world's tree, you know? I mean, this is the most famous tree in the world. Yes. And, uh, and the fact that it comes from, you know, the tri-state area each each year is really special. Uh, and, and, you know, once this thing gets lit up, it's it's just, it is a sight to behold. And I, I did my first... Back in the day, yeah. in 1983, okay. Come on, the tree story. lighting was the last five minutes of Live at Five. Wow. That was it. Just fit it in they after just, sports. At the end of the news, light it up, bang, it's all, okay, Merry Christmas, goodbye. That's it. That's it. And then it became kind of a half-hour show on WNBC, yep. then an hour, and now it's this extravaganza yeah. that, uh, that uh, everyone continues. everyone comes out to see. I mean, just look at the yeah. crowds around us. Thousands and so thousands close. and thousands of people. And, and, and to be part of, the, you know, people's traditions yeah. is just really... More, more special than I can even, I can even uh, voice. Well, you know what? Speaking of traditions, I'm curious. What is your favorite holiday tradition at the Roker household? Um, you know, I think it's it's Christmas morning, and look, my kids now are older. You know, mm -hmm. so all they want is a phone and or a wa <laughs> Apple Watch. You know, but mm -hmm. otherwise, you know. It, it, but it's it, I, I have a, a new granddaughter oh, uh, yes. who's five months old, and so I'm very I'm very excited about that. So we'll we'll get the little kid excitement that's, going again in the next nice. year or so. But you know, yeah, it's, it's like everybody. You know, it's a, a, in, a, in my house. I grew up in Queens. Yep. You know, and it was when we were a certain age. Uh, uh, you know, you didn't open your, you couldn't go to midnight mass. You had to wait to open your presents, you know, in the morning. Then we, you got old enough, you went to midnight mass, yep. you opened up a couple of presents, save them for your little, <laughs> then save but the others for your little. Right to now it, we get right, right to we it. Get right, right to it. it. And, and, and by the way, the other great thing is, is not having to get get up really early oh, with yeah. the kids. Now okay, it's yes. kind of like 8, 8.30. Whenever the coffee's kind of ready. Shamble down. Yeah, <laughs> it's fantastic. We'll open one or two, maybe yeah. even the night before. Yeah. But it all really starts here. It starts tonight, it is. that it excitement. Actually, it starts tonight, of course, starting at 7 o'clock with, with uh, uh, Natalie and David and Mario. And, uh, Mario. I can see him right up there getting ready. Yep. Uh, and also, just off to our, our left here, Bill Bracken, who's uh, the, the, guy, the brains of this thing. Just step in here, Brad. You'll see him Come on, soon. Bill. You'll see him again. Come on, Bill. Soon, but here we yeah. go. There he is. This is Bill Bracken. He's been how long? What the year is this for plan, you, Bill? Guys. This is year 15 of doing tree lighting for me. Yeah. Incredible. So, yeah, Bill yeah. started when he was 12. It's uh, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> he, and this is how it's aged him. So. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. You all get to see the tree lighting, but really, this is the man with the plan behind the scenes, how it all happens, you and your crew. And, I mean, it's a lot of people, right, involved? It's, a, it's about 150 people, and we're working for about a week to put it all together. And it all culminates tonight, Incredible. you know, at 10 o'clock when that tree lights. And thanks to Al and the team from the Today Show coming out and braving the cold every year. Yep. Or sometimes it was the rain. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> you know, and the, some years it's been pretty warm. But yeah. we have a slogan at the Today Show. Once the tree gets lit, we all get, get lit. lit. There we go. Wait, I love that. Once the tree gets be a lit, we all I'm get lit. Let you yeah. guys continue. And here's Great a little, you, little known fact. Bill will tell you this. Yeah. If one light goes out, they all go out. Oh, no. Yeah, just like oh, at home. Wow. It's crazy. We'll climb okay. the tree and replace crazy. the bowl you gotta, if you we have to. Yeah, you got me and Matt it's if you need nuts. us. It's yeah. <laughs> nuts. We'll do our best to avoid that. Well, that's a great tip, Al. Thank you so much. And we've got a, such a, a treat few having more you here. trips. If you want to get down here and avoid some of the big crowds when you check out the tree. Yep, that we do. So there are some tips for you. News 4's Linda Gaudino was able to check some of those out so you don't have to do the work. Just come Take in on this, under the sewer. Oh, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Plus that. Take Nothing kicks off the holidays more than lighting the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. Here are some tips for visiting the area from expert tour guides. 
generally what I tell folks, instead of coming in from like the Fifth Avenue side where it just gets crazy, especially with the Saks Light Show, I found that it's much easier to come in from the Sixth Avenue side and just wander in along one of the side streets. And then that gets you pretty close up to the tree where you can see some uh, good views of it without as much traffic. Weekends are always gonna be busier in New York City. Uh, the crowds around the Christmas tree, it's pretty overwhelming. The later you go is always the better. And if you can go on a weekend, that is always a great idea. But expect that when you come to New York around the holidays, they're gonna be crowds. If you catch those off peak hours, things will be better. But on the flip side of that, try to embrace it all. Be kind to your neighbor next to you. Say Merry Christmas. Smile at that little child looking up at awe at the Rockefeller Christmas tree. You will spend a lot of your vacation time sitting in traffic if you are taking Ubers or you are taking taxis. Uber prices change during the holiday season. They, there are surges uh, depending on the time that you're going out and depending on the time of year. The New York City subway is the best way to get around. And little known fact, but New York City's very first Christmas tree actually wasn't here. Before we had uh, Rockefeller Center, there was Madison Square Park. And this was actually the site of the very first public Christmas tree in New York, uh, a very kind of upscale socialite in 1912, you know, really kind of empathized with the, the plight of the poor and only wealthy people had Christmas trees. I mean, this was a luxury to have a tree in your home. And she thought Christmas should be for all New Yorkers, whether rich or poor. And she would erect the first public Christmas tree. So there you have it. Check out more tips and tricks, head to NBCNewYork.com. I'm Linda Gaudino, happy holidays. Some great tips there from Linda. Yeah, I'll we appreciate tell you, it, Linda. The subway is your friend. The orange line will get you right off inside this building. Yep. Then you're here. You do not have to fight through the crowds. Nope. That is the best way to do it if you want to get down here. Pro tip. And check things out. Just one more from me. <laughs> uh, well, we've got excitement all around tonight, yes. but especially for some very talented students from Secaucus, New Jersey. That we do. They are your 2023 Star Choir Singing Competition winners. There they are. You see Natalie Pascarella there. She was there for the big surprise when Kelly Clarkson revealed to them that they had won and they would be performing here tonight. So let's take a look. <laughs> Getting in a warm up before stepping into the spotlight. These musical theater students at High Tech High School are thrilled to be on stage and on the Kelly Clarkson show after competing against 75 other schools in the Star Choir Singing Competition. It is so special to me. I love musical theater. I love performing and especially to perform with all my friends. My family's from Mexico and I remember performing concerts with my grandfather. So it's honestly such an honor to just even be here and hopefully make him proud. They're about to find out they're not just in the top three. Jason, there was some, this is a tough choice, right? It really was. I mean, this is my favorite part of every year because you and I were both choir kids. Kelly and her band director, Jason Halbert, picked the winners who will perform at Christmas in Rockefeller Center. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. And we helped with the big reveal. The kids just think they're finalists, so Natalie, what's up? So who do you have with you? We are here with Mr. John Ziza. He is the head of the musical theater department here at High Tech High. And of course, all of his fantastically talented students. Say hi to Kelly. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> We rehearse at lunchtime, we rehearse after school. So these guys, they are the best, they are passionate. It's why they're here. And I am pleased to announce, High Tech High is the winner! Cheers and tears all around. I know, <laughs> it's crazy. Honestly, it means so much for my family. Um, <laughs> um, I hope that I made my grandfather proud and, um, and my family in Mexico very proud. For students who've put their heart and soul into this arts program. How proud are you of these students? Listen, I, these kids are everything to us. We see them more than a lot of their parents and guardians do here. We are truly in the in the complete sense of the word a family. It's a dream come true. Um, the crazy part is that I've grown up here in Jersey City my whole life and I've never actually been to the Rockefeller Center. My Christmas miracle definitely came true and it's the best. Christmas gift I can honestly ask for it.
That, of course, is Natalie Pascarella reporting. And, I mean, this, this is an incredibly talented group of kids. Mm -hmm. And tonight's the yeah. big moment. They have been practicing for weeks to get ready to oh. hit that stage in yes. just a couple of hours right behind us. I mean, imagine that moment for these kids. I'm like tearing up thinking about it, actually. It might be the cold. You know I mean? It might be the emotion, <laughs> Kay. There's a lot it's going all on. all the above. All the above. I mean, I was a choir kid in high school. Yeah. So, like, imagine performing here on that stage you were just talking about. It's incredible. Yeah. And then that one student, her first time here at the tree lighting, it's going to be how, big. Yeah, how about it's that? Yeah, the first time you see the tree, it's behind you. Uh-huh, as you're on Pretty stage. Cool. And listen, before they hit the stage, I got a chance to talk to the students of High Tech High. Choir director John Ziza there, who you saw Natalie speaking to. And um, they showed us what they were so excited about before the big show. <laughs> All right, so we are in the room right before it's all about to go down. We're here with High Tech High. We're going to see them before they hit the stage. So now you're here with us backstage with High Tech High. What's going on? Everybody? Oh my gosh, these are your star choir singing competition winners for 2023. I'm here with choir director John Ziza. What's going on, John? Tell we are we are about to take the stage. We've had a lot of excitement already tonight. Yes. Uh, we <laughs> got, can I say it? Please do. Uh, Kelly Clarkson gave them all a big hug. Oh. <laughs> so uh, I feel like that's the best way that I could start, and I feel like yeah. only can get better from here. Oh my gosh! I mean, you are moments away from hitting the stage with your students. How does it feel, ladies? Brendan and Anissa, tell us. It's just the most surreal experience ever. Just actually being here underneath the tree is crazy exciting. Yeah, it's honestly the best experience we could ever be given. And the fact that we're actually here getting ready to perform in front of the Rockefeller tree is a dream come true. Yeah, oh my goodness. Okay, so talk to me about the moment that Kelly Clarkson walked into this room and gave y'all that big hug. How did it feel? Um, honestly, I was like kind of shaking. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't feel real. Um, so it was, oh my gosh, it was so surreal to me. Yeah, what about you, Brynn? It was crazy, like just seeing her in person performing and then her coming up to us and hugging us all, I was like, fangirling so hard, <laughs> so hard. And they also didn't let her wardrobe escape them. They, oh. yeah, tell how much you appreciated her. Oh coat. yeah, we loved her coat. Everyone was complimenting her coat. It was yeah. the best thing. Her outfit was cool. Well, I'm not surprised because you all look decked out. I mean, come on, look at the headbands, the gear, the spirit is alive in here backstage. Before you all hit the stage, I mean, we are moments away. What is that like performing on stage at Christmas in Rockefeller Center? It's crazy. It's just like literally a dream come true. I mean, like it's everything we could have hoped for being in the top 10 and going down to the top three and then like finding out we made it. It was just so special to all of us. Yeah, it's really a great opportunity and it's a great opportunity to um, work with my peers more and to just go through this whole process with them. Um, even from like Britt said, top 10 to top three to now actually being here and being the winners. So it's, it's an amazing opportunity. I love it. Well, you all are gonna see them perform on stage in just a bit, but first, can we get a happy holidays on Thursday? Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's that thing? Should we do like Oh, a, should we do the oh, okay. little pop? Happy holidays on three. One, two, three. Happy holidays! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you oh were a gosh. choir kid. I, 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 you don't see that at all oh, in that. I got to relive my dream, you know? <laughs> so quick to strike a pose. Very nice. It was so fun. Well, I'm so happy for them. Those super talented kids will be performing yes. tonight. We talked to Carly Pierce. We know she'll be hitting the stage <laughs> as well. But it is a packed night of performances with some incredible names that will be hitting the stage. And we want to give you an idea on some of the folks that'll be out there tonight. Cher. Uh, hi. Come on. Iconic. Cher. Barry Manilow. I'm talking <laughs> about iconic. The Rockettes. Matt. They'll be out there kicking K. These are heavy hitters kicking. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Kiki Palmer, Seth McFarlane, Chloe Bailey, Darlene Love. Catherine McPhee, I mean, just an absolutely star-studded night. I mean, there's a reason we look forward to this evening all year. Yes, there's a party afterwards, 
maybe the cocktails are comped, but also because of the performances. <laughs> it is going to be a lot of fun so tonight fun. with so much talent hitting that stage behind us. And uh, if you want to check it out, if you want to find out more about what is going on this evening, you can. Well, you, go, okay? you can. All you got to do is download the NBC4 New York app and you can head to NBCNewYork.com. There it is. I mean, you can see the crowd kind of buzzing. We're going to be getting going here in just a little bit, less than a minute from David Ushery, Nat Natalie Pascarella, and Mario Lopez live. Woo! Christmas in Rockefeller Center, 30 <laughs> seconds away, ah! right here on NBC4 New York. It is just a continuation of what has already been such a fun evening, Kat. Yes, it has. What a joy to do this with you. I was just about to say the same thing. <laughs> Get out of my head. And we're having it's so nice much fun. Thing. And you all are about to have fun with what's coming up next, right? See you there. Happy holidays. <laughs> Bye, guys. You're welcome.